Bible truth sets you free. If you have a question, God's Word, the Bible, will reveal the truth. Presented by Lori Dharma. You asked. Armageddon. Is it real? Are we going to be destroyed by God? Armageddon is real. It is mentioned once in the Bible. Revelation 16:16, 16, 16 and it reads. And they gather them together to the place that is called in Hebrew Armageddon. The battle of Armageddon refers to the final war between human governments and God. The battle of Armageddon will bring human rulership to an end. Only those opposed to God's kingdom will be destroyed. Daniel 2, 44 Did you know that long ago God destroyed the city called Sodom and Gomorrah by sulfur and fire? People were wicked and practiced immorality were destroyed and only Lot and his two daughters were saved. You can read this account in the Bible book of Genesis 19 1-14. Noah day the floodgates of the heavens were opened, and a deluge flooded the entire earth. Ungodly, violent humans were refused to take note of God's warning were drowned. The flood was survived only by righteous Noah and his family. Read Genesis 7 1 to 24. Will it happen again? Yes, it will. How? As he did in Noah's day. Jehovah the true God will not wipe out Satan's entire world all at once. But he will destroy first the Babylon the Great, the world empire of false religion. Then, at Armageddon, he will destroy the rest of Satan's world, with his political corrupt system. How will we know that Armageddon is about to strike? What will be the signs foretold in the Bible? The Bible tells us about a most unexpected proclamation. The Proclamation of Peace and Security This proclamation will be just another demon-inspired lie to mislead mankind. It will serve as a signal announcing the Great Tribulation. Bible reveals whenever it is that they are saying, Peace and Security. Then sudden destruction is to be instantly on them, just like birth pains on a pregnant woman, and they will by no means escape. 1 Thessalonians 5-3 After the destruction of all false religious organizations, what will happen next? God's people will continue to worship the true God Jehovah. Satan, observing God's people are spared from the attack of false religions, will be enraged. He will vent his anger by using demonic propaganda, of unclean inspired expressions to cause a coalition of nations to turn on Jehovah's servants. Revelation 16 13, 14 this coalition of nations is called Gog of the land of Magog. When the nations launch their attack on God's people they will have arrived at the symbolic place called Armageddon. That is where they will meet God's wrath from which they will never escape destruction. Revelation 16:16. 16, 16. Gog, identified as coalition of nations now will try to attack Jehovah's people. Coalition of nations will trust in their military might but God's people will trust in Jehovah God for their protection. These enemy nations will think it is foolish to trust in Jehovah God to save them from their attack and will expect an easy victory. Jehovah says to these nations, Like clouds covering the land, you will come against my people Israel. In the final part of the days, I will bring you against my land so that the nations may know me when I sanctify myself through you before their eyes, O Gog. Ezekiel. 38:16. But, Gog, will soon see that he has marched into a trap. Like Pharaoh at the Red Sea, Gog, will learn that he is fighting against Jehovah. Ezekiel. 38, 18, reads. On that day, the day when, Gog, invades the land of Israel, declares the Sovereign Lord Jehovah, my great rage will flare up. 
Did you know that Jehovah God saved his people from the chasing powerful Egyptian army by dividing the Red Sea? When the Israelites saw Pharaoh and his army chasing after them they realized they are trapped between the Red Sea and the Egyptian army, they cried out to Moses, We are going to die. You should have left us in Egypt. But Moses said, Don't be afraid. Wait and see how Jehovah our God will save us. Moses really trusted in Jehovah, to deliver them although they were trapped by advancing army. It appears there was no escape from the pursuing army. Read the account and see how Jehovah saved his people from the powerful Egyptian army by drowning them in the very Red Sea that he saved his own people, recorded for us in Exodus 14 15 to 28. Same way Jehovah will save his people from Armageddon, which will destroy all his enemies and preserved his people alive and safe. At Armageddon Christ and his heavenly armies will defend God's people and crush, Gog's, hordes. Revelation 19, 11, 14, 15 says. I saw heaven opened, and look, a white horse dot he and the one seated on it is called Faithful and True, and he judges and carries on war and righteousness. Also, the armies in heaven were following him on white horses, and they were clothed in white, clean, fine linen and out of his mouth protrudes a sharp, long sword with which to strike the nations, and he will shepherd them with a rod of iron. Moreover, he treads the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God the Almighty. Revelation 21-3, says at that war Jehovah's chief enemy, Satan the devil, the liar from the Garden of Eden to this day he continues with his lying propagandas, will lead the Amani nations to Armageddon. At that war Jesus will hurl Satan and his demons into an abyss, where they will be locked away for a thousand years. Jehovah's people with divine protection and preservation will come through the Armageddon God's great war. Immediately after the Armageddon planet Earth will be restored to a paradise. It will seem an enormous task for God's people. But it will be accomplished under the direction of God's heavenly government ruled by Christ for a thousand years. Eventually the whole earth will be restored back just like the original Garden of Eden. Righteous humans will find their exquisite delight in the abundance of peace that will triumph all around our restored globe. Psalm 37 11 Perfect mankind will enjoy spiritual and material prosperity. After Armageddon, the earth will become a paradise with mankind enjoying many spiritual and material blessings. Bible says, the tent of God will be with mankind. Now on humans will be following the direction of the heavenly government. Yes, God will wipe out every tear from their eyes, and death will be no more, neither will mourning nor outcry nor pain be anymore. Revelation 21 1-4 God will transform mankind to glorious perfection that will replace disease, sorrow and even death. Do you want to be in that restored paradise earth under God's kingdom to live forever? If you would like to enjoy living in such a world, we encourage you to learn how you too can survive the impending war at Armageddon sure to come soon. Jehovah's Witnesses are willing to assist you to learn about the truth from your own Bible. Accept the free Bible study course to prepare to be on God's side now, so that you, too, can live forever in paradise on earth. Click the link in the description below to start the Bible study with the introductory brochure and follow up with a serious Bible study. This brochure is sure to enlighten you the truth hidden by the false teachings. Like Comment Share. Our videos are made for educational purpose only. Thanks for watching. Watch my other inspirational videos in my channel.